Achieving universal access to high-speed internet has dogged New York policymakers for years as they struggle to ensure that New Yorkers living in remote corners of the state have access to affordable and reliable service. Not far from the state capitol in Albany, officials in Schoharie County are taking steps that they hope will get them to realize 100% broadband coverage. So we wanted to explore what they're doing, and to do that, we're joined on the Capitol Press Room by Corsa Akumfi, the Schoharie County Administrator. Welcome to the show, Corsa. Thank you very much, uh, David. So Corsa, as we talk right now in uh, late April of 2024, how do the majority of Schoharie County residents get their internet, whether at home or at work? Is there one dominant provider, for example? So in Schoharie County, the services are currently being provided by Spectrum in some areas. HughesNet for very remote areas who relies on satellite connection. And also we have Mittel in Schoharie Town and other locations, and also Margaretville Tell in other parts of the county. So given that landscape and the available options, is high-speed internet coverage available for everyone in Schoharie County? Or given the remote rural nature of parts of the county, are there people who still can't access it? The government of Schoharie County, working with the various service providers, has worked extensively to expand access to broadband through various parts of the county. So we currently sit on uh, 92% coverage across the county. Notwithstanding that, we, we still have a lot of our areas uh, do not have access to broadband coverage. And other locations also rely on very expensive satellite connections, which also provide very slow access and uh, not able to meet the needs of current um, services available on the internet or for school st- uh, streaming services and other opportunities. So yes, we do have some portion, roughly about 80% of our residents lacking access to a good quality internet. And how has the county gotten to the point where it's at now? Is Have there been say, government initiatives like some of the state money or or federal dollars that have been made available in recent years that the county has been able to utilize to incentivize some of the private companies to expand their reach? Or is the landscape primarily just a product of the decisions of private internet providers? The state had uh, took advantage of uh, the APA funding back in 2022 to evaluate our coverage area in terms of broadband access. So we utilize $100,000 from the APA funds to analyze our broadband map and also examine impact of a countywide broadband services and how that can influence processes within the county. With the funding of $100,000 working closely with Skohari Economic Enterprise Corporation, SEEK, and FAR Technology, as well as information from Mittel, we're able to conduct analysis to understand part of the county that were lacking access to broadband services. We also undertook extensive analysis to see how if we are able to achieve universal access to broadband within across the county, how that will impact on the economic position of the county in terms of growth opportunities, increase in revenue in the county and other specific needs to try and understand the value uh, broadband can provide to our residents as well as our taxpayers and also the government as, as a whole. And that investment gave us the roadmap to where we are. We basically prepared ourselves towards the BEAT program being launched by the federal government. And that gave us the impetus to be able to submit an application towards trying to achieve the universal coverage. Well, let's talk about that roadmap and the application that was submitted. What do you see as the path forward for potentially getting to 100% coverage? Yeah, so Skohari County is one of the smallest county in New York State. And because we also lie just on the horn of uh, the capital region, 
it basically becomes a bit challenging for us to be able to meet the needs of our residents based on the size of our tax base. We are also one of the most higher tax county because of the size and the complexities of our, uh, of our economy, because we don't have a big industrial base, we don't have a huge economic base, and basically relies a lot on Albany for residents, for shopping and all that. So we believe that this approach towards broadband coverage will help in industrializing the county as we move forward and try to diversify our economy and also be able to increase our tax base and reduce the tax position of the county. And those are the key drivers behind this quest. So those engagement and working with our close partner, we're able to pull together the ideas as to how we need to approach the universal access as an option and also identify the key opportunities that exist within the county and also other key allies across. So it gave us an opportunity to be prepared for uh, the MIP program with a state commitment towards treating broadband as a utility across New York State, give us the opportunity to jump on that and provide our residents with that with the services. Hopefully, getting this grant will be a great, great support for us. And also, there is a commitment from the county government in achieving that objective. And we're continuously analyzing and evaluating our processes to ensure if we are awarded the grant, we have the tools and resources in place to be able to uh, achieve the said outcome. So would realizing the grant simply subsidize the private providers to build out the infrastructure to reach the people who are unable to access high-speed internet? Or would it come with other conditions as well, such as guarantees about cost or uh, reliability of service? Through our analysis, we're able to establish that the county may need about $33 million to be able to have a universal access across the county. The grant does have a parameter up to $30 million. We have engaged with Connect All, that is administering the MIP grant application and providing with our, our plan and the cost implication on providing the countywide access. The commitment from the state indicates that they are willing to work with us to be able to achieve that objective. So that is for the capital investment. The other side of it is operational expenses. We are working very close with Mattel, who is our partners in this endeavor, to be able to ensure that there's operational efficiencies and also looking at other opportunities to ensure they're able to not just build the system, but to be able to effectively and efficiently run it. And there is a broader commitment from all of us because we believe if we're able to achieve a countywide access to broadband, it will enhance the value of properties within the county. It will help with our ag economy. It will also assist with retail and educational outcomes of our residents. So there's a commitment and a show of interest from the members of the Board of Supervisors in supporting this approach. So our goal is to ensure that we're able to bring this process to fruition. We're working closely with the state and other agencies, including the IDA, Spohari County IDA, to identify where we can apply some level of financial engineering to ensure we're able to achieve that operational efficiency and we also support Mattel to be able to effectively deliver the service at a reasonable and effective cost to the resident. That is the goal of the state. That is the commitment the governor has made to the residents and people of New York State. We've heard from some Democratic state lawmakers about municipal internet infrastructure, essentially having local governments build out their own internet capacity. Was that something you've explored at all? Yes, we did have a look at it. And I think with the complexity that's involved in running an internet service, we do not have the tools or the uh, the capacity to manage 
and infrastructure of that magnitude. That the reason why we are working closely with Mittel to be able to run and manage that infrastructure on our behalf with a little, very little, little administrative role of the county. So we will rely on Mittel to be able to shepherd the process and also manage the infrastructure on our behalf. If the application you've submitted is unsuccessful or you end up bringing in less money than you might have otherwise hoped, are there other avenues for you to explore to achieve universal coverage? Or would you be in, for lack of a better word, a a holding pattern and and the status quo might sort of dominate for the foreseeable future? Yeah, we are also looking very close to the BEAT program that is expected to be announced, I believe, by the end of June, um, May or June. So we are looking at that program as well. Uh, We also have uh, Spectrum that is working on that program to be able to provide coverage across the county as well. But the BEAT arrangement is completely different. So uh, if the MIP program is unsuccessful or the outcomes are less than what we expected, we reevaluate our position and then try and identify the efficient and effective way of still achieving that um, 100% coverage across the county. So the achieving that outcome is, is, is important to us and we will be exploring all opportunities and avenues to get us to that uh, end goal. Well, that's all the time we have for this conversation. We've been speaking with Corsa Akumfi. They are the Skaheri County Administrator. Corsa, thank you so much for making the time and good luck with your effort to expand access to internet coverage. Thank you, David, and thank you to your team for giving us this opportunity, and I'm excited about this. Support for the Capitol Press Room is provided by Resorts World New York. With over 1 million square feet of space to play, relax, and celebrate, Resorts World New York City hosts more than 5 million visitors a year. That makes Resorts World a significant social and economic partner for local businesses and residents alike. Through its operations and outreach programs, Resorts World has generated more than $4 billion for the state educational system and 1,400 jobs for the people of Queens. More information at rwnewyork.com.